one. Let's dive in. Let's check it out. All right. Looks like nice packaging. That's good. Keep it in good shape. All right. There it is. There it is. There it is. Nice. Man, this guy is heavy. This thing is substantial. Holy macanoli. No messing around on that right there. All right. Nice. Got my little knife right here. Slash fingernail. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Book one, two, three, four. Nice. Good old Bill Watterson here. The Complete Calvin and Hobbes, books one through four. So stoked. So this guy, uh, I ended up purchasing this, purchasing this online. And again, these are going to be the paperback ones, um, not the hard covered. And it looks to me like a lot of people are saying that these are kind of the ones to get because they kind of read a little bit easier. Like in other words, when you open up the book, it kind of sits and lays a little bit nicer and more flat if you're really going to read it. Look, if this is going to be a coffee table book that you're going to read once in a while, maybe getting the hardcover is kind of like fun, kind of fancier. But I want my kids diving in. I want them reading Calvin and Hobbes like I used to read Calvin and Hobbes, just like that right there. So I want them to be able to open this thing, and it does. It lays nice and flat, nice and easy, nice and readable. Oh, this thing is awesome! So again, this is supposed to be every single Calvin and Hobbes. If you're anywhere near my age, I'm in my 40s. And um, as a kid, as a young a kid, teenager, young adult, I used to buy all the Calvin and Hobbes. And of course, you read them 5 million times. They kind of fall apart. I still had a couple that I passed down to my kids. But they were just kind of all dying. There you go, the complete Calvin and Hobbes. And uh, I was like, you know what? If I'm going to start buying these things, which I bought a couple... I looked online and I was like, look, I can buy this whole complete set and it really wasn't too bad. I'll put a link down in the description. I bought it online. I'll put a link down there. You can check it out. It was way, way less expensive than if I was going to go out and try to buy each one of the individual books. Not, not even close. Um, and the paperback um, was, was definitely less expensive too. The hardcover uh, was more expensive obviously but it looked to me also i did my homework i love the color pictures and i wanted to make sure that just because i saved a few bucks going to the um non hardcover do i still get mostly color pictures and it looks like it's just like the actual uh magazines were so like if it was the sunday script those are going to be in color if it's the daily uh script right here monday through saturday then they're in black and white so stoked so stoked yeah, there's Susie Durkins, nice. Looks like we're going on a little adventure there. Awesome, awesome. So, and there you go, it kind of tells you. So book two, 1987 to 1989. Let's see, what was book one? <clears throat> so one this guy. Them, yeah, I think that's book one. So here you go, 85 to 87. Man, that feels like a long time ago. 85 to 87. Here's book three, 1990 to 1992. And I can tell you, just kind of feeling these things, they feel nice. Like this is not like cheap little flimsy. Like, it, you know, it's obviously bendable here. Again, it's not the hard covered, but it feels substantial. This feels nice. Like this is nice, a nice cover. Feels like nice paper. All right, at least we're into the 90s, 92 to 95. And I guess that's about it, right? Uh, Bill Watterson only made these for about 10 years. I think it was 85 to 95, so that, that makes perfect sense right there. But uh, again, and boy, the ones that are, are in color, I can't wait, wait to read my kids these ones. The snow ones are so funny. But, um, but the color, you know, I just feel like, in fact, with my old ones, I used to get the black and whites like these guys, and I used to start coloring in, like coloring hobs and do that kind of stuff. And uh, I'm so excited to see some of these guys get back into this script. And the black and whites are cool too, don't get me wrong, but uh, I love the color. Love it, love it. Look at this one, nice. <laughs> so cool, so cool. All right, oh, there's Calvin's imagination going crazy. I'll just kind of flip through it here a little bit. 
Man, I cannot wait. <clears throat> I was trying to figure out if I should make this a uh, present from my kids to me because Christmas is coming up or if I should give it to them or just call it a family gift. And that's what I ended up doing. Bought it and just said, I'm going to wrap it up, put our last name on it. And this is a family one right here. So anyway, guys, hey, I hope you appreciated this uh, little review here of the brand new Calvin and Hobbes. I'm sorry, it's new to me. I don't I have no idea how long it's been out for. But uh, <laughs> yeah, look at that. Tally ho. But uh, I, I don't know how long it's been out for, but I can tell you this. I am so pumped. And now that I have it in my hands, it's, it's even a lot nicer. The kind of paper and materials, if you bought the individual books like I have, I can tell you just even these individual pages, like this isn't like flimsy little stuff. It's, it's nice quality. It just feels like it's going to stick around for a while. I've got three kids, so I don't know. Hopefully it'll stick around for a while. But uh, so awesome, man. So awesome. All right, guys. Hey, hit subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Check that description. I'll put some information on this guy and where I purchased it. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.